Okay, going to talk about succession. Like I said earlier in the piece, this 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 isn't irrigated or fertilized. Is actually you know a very very high margin in this crop alley, considering the net worth of what comes out of it versus what has gone into it. Again, I could have been picking the last of the capsicums out of the middle of that there, but that's a mistake I made. All right, so what we have is um, in the early days, the early uh, first phase of succession are your crops that grow the fastest and have the shortest life cycle and encourage everything else to grow with their own vigour. And that's the melons, sugar babies, little ones. I'm going to pull that out. That's a farmer's friend. He's probably not doing any harm, and I've just upset a pineapple doing that, but she'll be right. Uh, so anyway, yes, these should have given way, well, not given way, but worked in a complementary manner because their strata are compatible, melon being low strata and capsicum being high strata. The melon would have given over eventually in a crop cycle to the capsicum. They're everywhere you look if you... And I should have had twice as much. Then... I crop out the capsicums roughly three months, picking red capsicums, trying to get the best price I can. And then after that, that's when we really are at this point now, giving way to the ginger to really move in. It really starts, it's very dense foliage, it's a good crop. Uh, it really needs the space and room and it'll hold well for another six to seven months now and at the same time I'll show you a papaya that wasn't over positioned so you can see what happens when they work together here's a little one coming up this guy didn't uh, get the right conditions to germinate until later due to the fact that it's not irrigated and the right amount of rain was its indicator or signal for it to grow. But here's a papaya that moves in, it starts its really strong part of its growth curve with the ginger. And the pineapples, by the by, are really putting on the growth now. They're really starting to move along. Pines start very slowly. But what we're really looking at now is just a beautiful bromeliad crop and yeah, it's just beautiful so like I said we'll harvest this ginger and we'll prune quite heavily and we'll bring back a lot of light and uh, that'll trigger the flowering of the pineapple and then The ginger will be replanted, and like I said, the growth signals will all kick off because everything goes together, everything gets planted together. And then within one year, within in the following year, by roughly the time that the ginger gets planted, harvested again, we'll be harvesting a fatty, big fatty fat crop of pineapples. And then we'll plant the ginger again. Keep cropping the papaya and we'll return the pineapples and get another crop within 12 months and then the, the old bromeliads will come out and then who knows, by then, you know, we will be getting very close to harvesting and maintaining a, you know, a substantial citrus crop here. We've got lemons, this is a lemon row. Uh, you know, which will be nursing our jackfruit. 
Um, and we may not really be doing a whole lot in here except for more pineapples because of the low strata because we just may not have the same amount of light in here. We'll, we'll, we'll make that call later. So that's that's my take on succession. There's heaps more to it. and That probably was very confusing when I spoke about everything because it's so interconnected.